hi and welcome to my excel tutorial of a dashboard system so let me show you guys how this works if i select any of these states here okay i can just click on any of those states i need to show you the sales that's happening that very sales and you can always click on this very filter there to recover from that and you can also click here to see any of the sales the company sales made so far under or above 2000 and there we go in what state you can see the state those were made in and let's come in here the value okay we can see the value of sales let's click in dollars that's for oklahoma and ohio and and so on that's texas and montana so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into excel development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys hi this is an excel tutorial of a dashboard system and right here have all the data i intend to use the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select this very cell there and go to insert and let's select table and just click on that and what we have is this so that we can session every data we want to the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to enter initials let's just say initial and right underneath here i'm going to enter the initial of each names that i have in here right there so it's a equals and let's go to formula and right here where we have text click on that and let's click on left there and let's select this very row click on ok and right there that's it that's what you get the initials of every single coordinator we have in here now the next thing is you see right here i'm going to now select the plus sign add another another sheet and in there click on insert perfect table click on that and let's select the data that we want to we want the perfect to recognize I'm going to select every single one of the data come right here and click on OK there we go all right now we have the perfect table fields so I'm going to now select the state and I will also select value of sales and that is it so let's copy this i'll copy this state and the value of states the reason why i'm copying it i want to create a map chart i cannot create a map chart without copying it okay i have to copy this very one and paste it let's put it right underneath here exit if i try to create a map chart here you will see the system will refuse that let's say we go to insert and click on map chart and there that is what we get okay so it's telling us please select a different chart so this one that i've just created i'm going to go back into insert make sure insert is selected go to the map and just click on the map i don't want that i want the yeah, idea we, we have the whole full state now now the next thing i want to do since we already have the map of the states of the united states of america i'm going to click on a new sheet actually and in here add another perfect table okay select all that and scroll right down click okay we actually need to select perfect table come in here perfect table and let's come here select and right there click drop this down click on ok the next thing i want to do is i'm going to select the state and right underneath here i am going to select company sales there select company sales and let's come to the insert and go to perfect chart click right there so maybe column okay we go for the columns for now that is the column chart taken care of now add another sheet insert perfect table let's go to the 
shift one select hold on to the shift key insert and there we go click on ok so number four we have let's select state and i also need the value as well but this time around i need a perfect chart for it so insert perfect chart and i'm going to go for bar chart there we go we have our bar chart now let's add another one inside perfect table okay let's select the data that we want there we go and this time around click on ok we're in number five sheet number five now let's come in here state okay i'm gonna need number a uh, week number months oh let's get rid of months okay we have state we have that and let's come into number of sales let's see yeah number of sales is there and there so let's create perfect chart with this all right perfect chart with this so what do we do which one shall we go for we can always go for the line chart let's see the line chart oh shall we go for pie chart yeah pie chart and for the pie chart if we select this this is what we get or shall we go for this or this and let's go for this no we go for this and there we go pie chart creator so we have a many different chart now one two three and the last one here that's just the state all right i'm gonna add one more i want that one to be line chart so right here make sure you select insert perfect table and i want a line so create another perfect table drop this down as usual there we go now what do we want let's see I'm going to select the state again because we know where we need to know where all these sales are taking place and I am going to select company sales there and now let's create a perfect chart and insert inside the perfect chart we want a line chart and that is it over there right over there let's say we select this let's see how it's going to look like that that looks good and just click on ok there we go guys right all that is done now so if you want we can always give them a name that's the line chart and that's going to be the pie chart bar chart and so on the column chart and that's just the map so the choice is yours if you want to give them a name but i'm going to add another just added another sheet this very sheet that's where i'll copy all my data and i'll copy all of this copy let's copy the the map and if you want first thing first we can always give that a name let's just call that map map of sales right that is fine so I have map of sales there. The next thing I would like to do is, you see, with this map of sales, I would like to, let's come in here and just, for now, let's copy it. We copy that, control C, copy, and let's come right to number seven and just paste it somewhere. There we go. We paste it somewhere right here. There. Now copy the others. Right click and copy. That is the column chart. And paste it there. I have my column chart there. We can always reduce it if we want. Yeah, that's fine. And column chart copied all right this is copied that's copied now let's copy this and paste it right here move it down 
move it up here okay all right that is fine now we have okay we need a bar chart we have that we need this now okay no that's not the bar chart that's a pie chart copy the pie chart come right here and just paste the pie chart somewhere here we have our pie chart here all right okay all done so what we then need to do is you see up here I'm just going to enter a text box, a text there. Or oh, let's go for insert. Um, yeah, insert and right here. And we're going to just enter dash dashboard there. Maybe increase the font size to about 14 and just move it up here. Right now the next thing i like to do is i'm going to select this each of this chart and i need to now go to insert and let's look for slicer that's it right there click on slicer that's the slicer okay in here i have the the column sales and i also have company sales and click on okay there we go column sales company sales I'm gonna move those right here so we already have sales and we have this as well so which means we can use those two so let's say if I click on Alabama that will show the details of Alabama you see that that's the details of Alabama there okay and when you click on this filter that will reinst reinstate everything okay let's look at this very one here value of state oh the value of sales let's see as for the value of sales let's come up here now insert and let's look at this click on that now value of sales we only need the value of sales that's the value of sales there okay we need the value of sales to be somewhere so we're gonna have to move that here and one other thing is is to add the line chart there it is let me right click and just copy it and I'm gonna add it here as well then we may we have to just paste it in there somewhere then we have to find a way maybe just rearrange the whole lot or let's shrink this that much yeah and just bring a line chart right here right there okay now one other thing you see the slicer Okay, for me to be able to interact with all of this my my chart and the map properly or the chart actually I'm gonna right click on each of the slicer and select report connection click on that and you see that you see those are the connections so let me just click on all of them to add it on board there we go and I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the other two right click both connection get it all connected so that it can interact with each other and one more report connection repeat exactly the same thing there click on ok that's fine all right so let's let's pr you can always press ctrl f1 here which means you just collapse the ribbon this is how it's looking right now but if you look at this slicer we can't see all of the slicer so we need to find a way to see to make sure we can see those slicer just select this slicer and go to options and let's change it to two columns and see what's gonna happen with this one okay we have two there so move this up there that's fine 
Then I repeat, let me repeat the same thing for this one. Options two. There we go. Right. In the case of this, okay, we have all of that, all of the data in there. Okay, let's come in here. And this one options two as well. Okay. Right. I may have to make these ones four instead of two. Make it four. Okay, four. Alright, leave it as two and I'm gonna leave this scroll bar there. So that's what I'm going to do with these two. Options will be two with a scroll bar for adjustment. Now, the next thing I want to do now is to get rid of the background. You see those lines, those grid mean I'm going to get rid of them. And let's just come in here and we need to go to the page. Side the page, just uncheck the grid. There we go. And if you notice all of those lines are gone and we can even get rid of the of this head as well you see these headers here you see the a to a to z so we can always go to page layout and just get rid of those there we go now those ones are gone as well all right Okay, the next thing I would like to do is, you see all of this text content that I have in here, they are not that visible. So I'm going to come in here and just change that to black. Let's make them a little bit pronounced. First of all, let me press Control F1 and I'll select them individually and just make them a little bit darker right here repeat the same thing here and if you want you can also increase the font size so that it's more visible there we go that is fine okay let's come down here repeat the same thing for this it's more darker there and here okay I've done that I need to do this right that is fine yeah that's fine so collapse this ribbon there see the good news about this very about this very dashboard is there isn't any form of coding in there compared to the previous one let's get that centered yeah that's centered all right so there we go guys that's how you create your own okay you see that that's how you create your own dashboard in excel using every single component that we have on the system and we can do the same thing here okay and you can get back all your data by clicking on the filter button there you see that guys okay you see it's quite it's very much easier than the than the very first one that I made okay let's just minimize this so we have enough room there yeah that's it guys that's how you create your own your own very dashboard using Excel V uh, not VBA there's no VBA involved here using Excel so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial guys I suppose you all enjoyed so you all have a nice day now and bye for now.